Grinding Drill Tools System, GS1, Standard Operating Instruction. To properly select the drill bit, 1. CBN coarseness is for the standard drill, the deep seated drill, the positioning drill, and the compact drill. 2. SDC coarseness is for the platinum drill. Determine the various specifications, sizes, coarseness, lengths, and the point angles of the drill before operating. The eight operating steps of the grinding drill tool. Step one, grid adjustment. Before operating the drill, please be sure that the lever is set at zero. Determine the length and specification of the drill bit, after which adjust the numbers on the knob or the web diameter. For example, a 10 mm drill bit corresponds to the 10 mark on the grid. For example, a twist drill diameter of 6 mm by 70 length drill bit length should be adjusted to the number 6 position. A twist drill length of 60 millimeters should be adjusted to the number 7 position. A twist drill length of 50 millimeters should be adjusted to the number 8 position. So on and so forth. Note the inverse relationship between the length and the thickness of the drill bit. The compact drill bit. Based on the size and specification, increase the adjustments on the grid. Be sure that the drill bit is parallel. If there is an increase in the size of the bit, increase the grid marks. Positioning drill bit. Based on external diameter, that should be a one-to-one -one ratio. If you encounter unique angles, make sure the drill bit is parallel. Step 2. Selecting and using the collet. Choose the proper collet and place it at a 45 degree angle into the collet chuck. Step 3. Matching the collet and the clamp nut. After placing the drill collet into the collet chuck, fix a clamp to secure it. Step 4. Operating the adjustment shelf. Before operating the drill, confirm that the size of the drill corresponds to that of the grid mark on the adjustment shelf. After properly setting the correct mark on the grid, put the chuck set into the adjustment shelf. Fasten the chuck set up and turn it clockwise. Place the drill bit to the base and turn it to the right. Turn the chuck set all the way to the right and tighten. Then lightly turn it to the left to loosen. To remove the chuck set, Make sure the point angle of the drill is parallel to the slot of the clamping nut. If it is not parallel, please readjust it. Step 5. Grinding application of drill point angle. While the power light is on and the motor rotation is stable, Put the chuck set into the grinding shelf. The slot of the clamping nut is fitted with the two pins of the grinding shelf. Put the drill gently into the grinding shelf until it reaches the grinding slip. While grinding, move the drill left and right until the noise stops. Follow the same procedures on the other side. 
do not hold the stem of the drill in use. Otherwise, it will affect the tool's balance. The smallest size of drill is 2 millimeters. The point angle of the drill can be adjusted from 118 degrees to 135 degrees. Step 6. For grinding the center and web of the drill. Put the chuck set into the web thinning. Grind the drill by moving left and right until the noise stops. Then turn it to the other side. Grind the drill in the same way. For the web thinning application, to either insert or remove the drill, be sure the center point of the drill is parallel to the chuck set. If necessary, use a 0.1 millimeter or 0.3 millimeter pad beneath the center of the grinding shelf. Step 7. Maintenance of the grinding shelf. Make sure to use the aerosol spray before and after using the grinding shelf. This eliminates dust and metal shavings. Pay particular attention to the drill attachment portion. This will ensure longevity of the machine. Step 8. Instruction for changing the wheel of the drill. Loosen the attached screws. Then uncover the protective covering on the wheel. Remove the attached screws and spokes on the wheel. After which the wheel can be removed. Clean the center of the rim and wheel. Replace the necessary wheel Reinsert the spokes and the screws. Tighten the screws and replace the protective covering. Fasten the screws on the protective covering. The drill is now ready for use. The Accurate Grinding Drill Tool is a cost-efficient system for its users.